You probably want to add more bombs to Minecraft, at least I would assume so if you found this video. And luckily, one of the best mods to add biomes to Minecraft is Biomes of Plenty. It adds them to the overworld, but it also adds them to the nether. It also adds them to the end. So really, really cool mod. I think over 80 biomes, somewhere around there, are added into Minecraft. And honestly, if I'm playing modded, I've got Biomes of Plenty installed. So how do you do that? Well, first things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here, and this is our complete text guide on getting Biomes of Plenty. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Biomes of Plenty button to go to the official Biomes of Plenty download page. On this page, what we want to do is go ahead and click on Files, and then you want to find the basically 1.20.1 version of Bombs of Plenty. For us, it's right here at the top. Um, you want to get on the most recent one if there's multiple, and this one right here is the most recent. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and click download. Then Bombs of Plenty will start downloading. While it's downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24 hour Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, like Bombs of Plenty, mod packs, or plugins, and yes, you can even run a vanilla server if you want. The choices are really up to you. On top of that, if you have any issues along the way, we have live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. And our entire goal is to make Minecraft hosting as simple as possible, so go check it out at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, Bombs of Plenty is now downloaded. There's another mod we need, though. Bombs of Plenty requires Terra Blender. Terra Blender is basically a compatibility mod that allows Bombs of Plenty to add in all these biomes. We can download it from the third link in the description down below, and once you're here, the process is the same. Click on Files, find the most recent 1.20.1 version, click the three dots, and click Download File. The download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. The same goes for Bombs of Plenty, and it's 100% safe to do that. Nevertheless, we need to download Forge as well. Forge is the mod loader that allows mods like Bombs of Plenty to link back to Minecraft and work happily together. We have an in-depth guide on getting Forge in the description, and uh, that's where you'll want to go to download Forge. Once you're here, we have a dedicated video. We've also got an in-depth guide fixing different issues like exit code 1 and 0. If you're having issues with those, it's all covered in this article. We're going to be going over the basics of getting Forge in this video you're watching now, though. So once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. On this page, we want to make sure that Minecraft 1.20.1 is selected. As you can see, it is selected here. And then come under Download Recommended and click on Installer. Forge currently for us is downloading right away, but you may be taken off to a page called Add Focus. On that page, what you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right. Basically, it'll take you off to a separate page. It might have a download button or something on it. Do not click anything like that. The only thing you want to click on that page is a red skip button in the top right. And then a file will download. As long as it's got Forge in the title like ours does here, you're safe to keep or save that file. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And then what we want to do is go ahead and move all the files we just downloaded to our desktop. In order to do that, they're going to be in your downloads folder. So right here we are in our downloads folder. We've got Forge, Terra Blender, and Biomes of Plenty. Move all of these to your desktop right like so. Now, what we want to do is actually start off here with Forge. So right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, what you want to do is go to the description down below and download Java 17. Java 17 is required not only for Minecraft mods, but also Minecraft servers. And of course, Bombs of Plenty is a Minecraft mod, so you need Java 17 here. A super in-depth guide, goes over issues, all of that. Check it out and get Java 17 if you need it. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and install Forge, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. From here, click on Install Client and click OK. And the only reason Forge won't install is if one, Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed before doing this. And two, you want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. If you've never done that, go play it without any mods or anything. Come back and this will work. As you can see, we can now click OK. It will close out of that. And we can delete Forge. Let's get Biomes of Plenty installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And in the Minecraft Launcher, you'll have a Forge installation. If you don't have a Forge installation, don't worry. I'll show you how to get one, but most likely you will have one. As you can see, we do. It's automatically selected. You may need to click the drop down box here and select it. If you've got that, click play and click play again and skip ahead in the video a minute. But if you don't, click on installations up here at the top. And then once you're here, you want to make sure mod is checked on the right. 
As you can see, if mod is not checked, Forge isn't there. So we want to make sure mod is checked. If you've got Forge now, play it. But if you don't, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to start a Minecraft server. And then go ahead and click the version drop down box here. You want to find release 1.20.1 Forge. Right here it is. And then we want to change our resolution. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. The most important part of this is selecting the release 1.20.1 Forge version here. Click create, and now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, and click play again. Minecraft will now open with Forge installed. That's the hard part. The easy part is getting mods and, well, getting bombs of plenty installed from this point. So here we are. Minecraft is open. Go ahead and click on mods, and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, that was pretty fast. So from the main menu, click on mods, and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. Your mods folder will open. To install bombs of plenty, drag and drop Terra Blender and the bombs of plenty mod from your desktop into this mods folder, right like so. Now go ahead and close out of everything, close out of Minecraft even, because we need to reopen Minecraft, making sure we're using that Forge installation in order for Bombs of Plenty to work. So as you can see, the Minecraft launcher is opening, and then once it's open, we've got that simplegamehosting.com profile with Forge. You can also use the Forge profile that was already there, does not matter. Click play, click play to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft's going to open with Bombs of Plenty installed. It's that easy to get a mod like Bombs of Plenty, and then once you've got it, we just need to make a new world. It will be active in your older worlds, but keep in mind that if you add this to an existing world, a world that you care about a lot, you will need Bombs of Plenty to update in order to play it on new versions, so keep that in mind. Now if we go to mods here, there it is, Biomes of Plenty. We can go into single player and create a new world here. We can name it whatever we want. Of course we're going to name it simplegamehosting.com because that's the best place to start a Minecraft server. And then we'll name it Biomes O. Plenty. Oh, that's it. We'll name it Biomes. And then we go ahead and make it creative and create this new world here. Again, I would recommend creating a new world every time just because oh, you, you use Biomes of Plenty. You can obviously play on the world after you've created it, but if a new version comes out or something like that, probably time to just start a new world um, if you until Biomes of Plenty updates, and then you could go back to this world, so keep that in mind. And occasionally, worlds will break in between versions with Biomes of Plenty and mods like it, but still, it is an amazing mod, so really... It, can be worth it a lot of times. Now, by default here, we are in a Bombs of Plenty biome because, uh, well, we've got these lily pads, but that's not really what we're looking for. I like biomes like this. I believe that might be one as well, but this is a massive redwood forest biome with huge redwood trees, and wow, look at that. Absolutely incredible. There are tons of different biomes, and like I said, there are biomes in the nether as well as the end with Bombs of Plenty, so keep that in mind. Look at this, like, canopy-style forest. Are these jungle yeah, trees? No, these are a custom tree, and Bombs of Plenty does add in tons of different blocks and trees and things to build with so keep that in mind but nonetheless if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy the biomes of plenty mod in minecraft 1.20.1 we'll see you in the next video peace